Hey friends, welcome back to my studio. I'm going to paint a sandhill crane today. I have freckles on my lap. She's she she hates to be on camera. I've got a 12 inch by 24 inch uh, cradled wood panel from US Art Supply. It's an inch and a half deep. There's a link in this video's description if you're cur curious and want to check them out. I wrote the word love on it. But before I did that, I gessoed it, oh, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, because I was going to start this painting sooner. I gessoed it with two coats of clear uh, gesso from Liquitex. There's instructions on how to do it. It's pretty easy. You just paint it on, let it dry, paint it on. Um, the reference photo, Freckles, do you want to hop down? She's not helping me. <laughs> The reference photo is on wildlifereferencephoto.com. See if I can get it so it's not glaring. I cropped it. It costs only $5, which I think is great. Gives the photographer a little, it freckles just bumped my arm, a little money. Isn't that pretty? I increased the saturation in Photoshop. So the top of that head is really red. I'm gonna use primary, sort of quote unquote primary colors. Let's see if I can do it. Can they see you now? Oh, they can see you a little bit. Okay, I'm grabbing some of my colors. So Cad Yellow, Medium Hue. They're all going to be Liquitex. Quinacridone Magenta. And Thalo Blue Green Shade. So they're not like traditional primaries. And then I've got uh, Titanium White and Mars Black behind me. I'm going to... Give freckles a little love. I'm gonna mix a, um, oh, I want it, I, I'm gonna want the crane more vibrant than the background. But I think I'm gonna make, or mix kind of a beigey background and paint it maybe from a lighter gray to a warmer brown or a warmer beige at the bottom. I'll let you know what that is after I get it mixed. Okay guys, let's get started. <laughs> Okay, let's chat quick about my background colors. I have been fiddling with my lights. I could turn this off. Oh, that actually looks more accurate. Let's turn this one off. That looks a little better when I look into my phone. It's kind of a cooler, creamier, or cooler, grayer, beige. This is pretty close to an unbleached titanium, if that helps you guys. And then I mixed a, a brown and it gets darker as it goes down. Here, sometimes I get it closer to the colors better. Not a big deal, just in case you're curious. Yeah, so this color right here is what I'm saying is close to an unbleached titanium white. That may have some white in it. And then just back and forth, sideways, horizontal brush strokes. I used a, where is it? Oh, right here two inch brush from Blick Art Materials. They're quite thin. I really like them. They can take a beating and they do a lot of heavy lifting and a lot of quick, quick work. I mixed my colors. So I used the Cad Yellow that I mentioned and some Quinacridone Magenta. Just like little, little, very little bits and a lot of white and made, basically that's an unbleached titanium looking color. And then this is a little grayer color, a little more black in it. Um, this is a little darker and a little more yellow than this one, if you can see that. And then I mixed um, straight up Cad Yellow, Quinacridone Magenta and Black for a darker brown. And then Titanium White. I've got my uh, Sandhill Crane on. I'm gonna start working on it and then, so I'll paint the crane first and then I'm, I, there's wheat. Oh, I don't have my reference photo handy. There's some wheat in this field that this crane is standing in, so I'm gonna paint some wheat and maybe some weeds and have some fun with it. Okay guys, I'll be back in a bit.
let's stop and chat for a minute. So I already mentioned my colors, cad yellow, quinacridone magenta, thalo blue green shade. I mix some black right into my thalo blue green shade puddle to mute it down, but you can still see it's quite a strong color. And then I mixed some blacks and muddy colors off to the side of that puddle. And I am exaggerate. well, I, um, let me say this. I boosted the saturation in Photoshop. Oh gosh, the window on my studio. <laughs> Probably should shut the window. So yeah, in the original photo, you don't see those oranges in the body um, at all. And then the, the head isn't nearly so red or there isn't as much blue in the back of the head over here. And then I'm even changing it some more. I've got, I'm putting like a blue gray, a blue, some, some blue grays. And I'm just finding some of the color. My orange is quite transparent because my cad yellow and my quinacridone are semi-transparent colors. I'm finding a few feather looking strokes. Um, just kind of finding my way. I'm using a, I think that's a three quarter inch flat craft brush. I used a little, oh, it's a brand new brush. I used a little, oh gosh, I can't see it. Oh, it says zero. It's a Royal and Lang Nichols end line brush. It's very little. I use that for the eye. And right now the eye's kind of bulging out, screaming out. And it's looking too big to me, but it might be fine. Of course, it's quite bright since I increased the saturation. It's quite bright. I don't know if my phone will focus in my reference photo. Here, I'm going to, if you just indulge me a second, I'm going to show you a painting I did. I don't know how long ago. I'll link it in this video's description. Let's see, it should be at the bottom. Here we go. So I'm kind of, I want to use the quinacridone like I did in this one. Oh, I'm so sorry. I forget about the window and the, the lights on the ceiling. Sometimes videoing at night is a little better. So I have pinks up in here. I don't know if I'll do that. And then just sort of some blobby strokes for the back. And then some, just a few fun feather strokes. And then the tail. So I'm kind of, I'm also using that a little bit as a reference because I really liked how that painting turned out. Okay, I think that's all I need to say. I think I'm gonna leave the head for the live. Um, and then if we get the head done during the live, I'll start working on some of the weeds and stuff. But right now I'm gonna concentrate on the body some more and then I'll be back. Okay, this next little time lapse section is going to be where we painted the head live. I'll link that in this video's description. And then I'll pop back in when we get back to painting more of it. Here, maybe you want a sneak peek. This is, this is what we work on. Okay guys, I just wanted to let you know that's what's coming up next in this video.
Hey, just a quick comment that that last bit that was time lapse is from the live. We painted the head. Um, I think I'm going to work a little bit more. It looks really good, especially on the video. It smooths it out. But I think I'm going to add maybe a little bit more highlight over here and some highlights down here in the neck. And then I'm going to start painting the wheat. Okay, guys, I'll be back in a bit. Hey friends, I thought I'd stop a minute. Um, I think I already mentioned I'm using my background palette. So it's the colors I painted in the background. And I'm using a three quarter inch craft brush. It's a flat brush from Michaels. Um, it just says three quarter inch on it, craft smart. And so I'm painting mostly just white, pretty thin. And sometimes it fades out. I'll get, I'll get, I'll give you a closer look. But that's okay. I can always come back and reinforce it if I want a little bit more white. Um, I think the top is done. I don't think I'm going to put too much more detail because your eye goes to this eye. And then the red is a big target too. So I don't, I don't know if I even really need too much more detail. Um, and then I've got more detail at the bottom, but I think I'm going to add more. I've got a clump here. I think I'm going to add some in here and I might be done here. I might put a couple more. I've got wheat. I've got four of them. I probably will put one more in. Okay, I just thought I'd give you a little tour. I'm going to play with it some more. But I don't think I've chatted since I started putting them in. And then if they wiggle or like I didn't quite hit it so I just split it. And I can come back and um, fix, like there's a little bit of white over the beak. I can fix that. Let's see, sorry. Got a little close, maybe. So the wheat is just, um, let's see that one. No, which one? I'm trying to figure out. Okay, there we go. It's just kind of like I put my brush down and pull up a little bit or dab. Here, I'll give you a close up. There's not a lot of detail to it. I think I want to put in more wheat. I'm not necessarily wheat heads, but more maybe grass is the right word. Oop, I just hit my light. <laughs> I, I couldn't go up any higher because I hit hit my light. That's fun. I like oop, I can't. I like that it pushes the bird back just a little bit into the painting by having the grasses go over it. Okay, I just wanted to pop in and let you know what I was doing. I think I'll probably the next time I come back, it'll be just final comments. You guys, I forgot to video my last few brush strokes. I didn't add that much more. <laughs> like, ah, I was so focused on the painting, I forgot to hit record. We'll do another quick little tour. So I added some darker browns at the top. Just two of them, really. Um, I think like some more blobs. That's a little wet, I don't wanna touch it. I didn't add another wheat head. I was going to, but I decided just to add some brighter whites, a little bit darker. That's bigger right here. And then some more browns and more brush strokes down at the bottom. Oop, I hit my light again. We just went through that. Just more brush strokes. Sorry about that. I do, um, 
I've been, I don't do that very often, but I did it this time. Oh, you can kind of see me. Hi guys. I super appreciate you hanging out with me. This is a really fun painting. It's very similar to the other one, which I mentioned I'll link in this video's description. Um, I think it's really fun. It's quite simple. You paint the bird and just some weeds over it. Um, I've, I lost my train of thought where I am. Thanks so much for all your support. Great big happy art hugs and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye guys.